That was the entire stack. No, you gotta be joking. That's the entire stack I threw out. Hey guys, Gunshy Mori back here with another video. So today we are going to be taming up our Andrew Sarkis. This is the highest, I think, level male on the map. Going to check again here real quick, but if not, he's the one that's getting tamed. He's got 27 movement speed and 28 oxygen. Those are two I would like on an Andy. But... Oh, no, wait. There we go. Where are you? The Andes. Andrew Shark. Quick search. It's already selected. Okay, so let's go by highest life first. That's him. Then we'll go for this one next. Oh, well, I guess we'll go for females, actually. What was that? Oh, it's a snow owl. Shit. I know this Desdemonus here can take them both. Also, stock up on some blood here. Ooh, I'm taking it, they're mate boosted. That hurt. Really hurt. No, you're not following. Okay, but that's a carno shit. I know what I'm gonna do. No, nothing. I must not be close enough. Damn it, there's more snow wells. That was the entire stack. No, you gotta be joking. That's the entire stack I threw out. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, guys. So I got more honey, and I'm stocking up on more blood right now. So that way I can go tame up this Andrew Sarkis. But I'm gonna head home first, because it is cold. And I want to show you guys what I did on the stream last night. I built me a house. And I also forgot Sir Hawk here, so shit. But anyways, let's go inside. I haven't decorated yet, but we got a bed, two chests, and a torch. Where's Hawk? Yeah. He spawns up here sometimes. There we go. Yeah, but if any of you guys were on the Discord the other day, <clears throat> would have saw that I was just sitting there streaming my camera, messing around with playing Ark. I don't know why, I just got bored, decided to build something. They don't have Fenjord war, so. Also, I've been needing a place I can go where it's warm. And which, inside there's, yeah, fun, but now we got this. I can look down upon my servants. Oh, yeah, also I'm wearing the Noglin right now. Um, <clears throat> I did get some stuff from the summer event, but I didn't get a lot of stuff, so. I'll show you what I got. I got a chest here. Back in there by the cooking pot with all the stuff in it. I forgot to show you all guys all the stuff I got. So. Alright. So this is the stuff I managed to get for uh, a summer event. Before I, I like you know. Had to. Uh, what was it? Blah. I did something. I Oh yeah. I restarted up the thing or whatever. Uh, but yeah, when we got this, um, I might turn the summer event back on, but now that it's like, what is it, August, September, something like that, it's, 
not looking too good towards that. But yeah, that's what we got for the summer event. Um, I do got all these guys in here. We have had attack. We did have an attack the other night, in which all the guards ran into the gate and protected us. And it's freezing out here. But luckily now, because for some reason when that's there, it's warmer out here. I can go under it. It's warm. Yeah, but then back here, it's still like ice. I removed the beds from back here as well. They're up there in the uh, house now. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with back here. I'm thinking that either this episode, well, yeah, this episode probably, because I may as well do it. We've been on Fenyordor for a while. This might become dino storage at one point, but we don't have that many dinos. So, we're going to hold off on that. I even thought about putting the breeding stuff back here, maybe using it for that, but that might still be what it's used for. But, seeing how after this uh, next episode, we're heading back to the island... So, oh, well, we're, we're getting, we're getting our Desdemonis and our, uh, Andrew Sarkis this episode, so, we don't have to worry about that. Also, I want to get that bat that was hunting me, because I know he's going to come back in here and mess with all my guys. I mean, I already had one come by and attack, uh, Team Rocket here, so... But anyways, uh, I'm going to wait for day, then we're going to head out, and we're going to go look for some good Andrew Sarkis. That one, I'm not too sure about. It still has high oxygen and high stamina, but let's, you know, let's see what you were at originally. What's yours? You got 28 health. You got, ooh. Hey, Andy. You're getting bred. All right, so we're going to breed for Andy's melee and his, uh, speed probably or, but definitely he's melee because they're right. so the way this works is you see all the numbers on the left side then you have to dash and then numbers on the right the numbers on the right are the points that you have put in the numbers on the left are the natural points the creature spawned with so andy spawned with a lot of damage uh, leading heavily into speed and food as well <laughs> maybe a little health but let's say I can find another one with I'd say at least 30 stamina 30 health and 30 oxygen that would be perfect and then all I would have to worry about mutating is some health and damage but the damage I won't have to worry about heavily mutating because it's already a 41 and I've put 22 points into Andy's damage. So he can deal a lot. I mean, he p packs a punch every hit. But the one things I do need to still get, which I'm probably going to be doing here as well, which I should probably go do tonight, but I don't got my fur clothes anymore. I died. So I don't got all that fur stuff. Um, Do I got stuff to make fur? Andy, do you got fur on you still? No. What about... You. Nope. But I know something that gives me... Wool. Right, 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 right. That's not how it works. That is some pelts I needed to be warm. And alive. I am so glad that, that you can slaughter some animals so that way you can pack stuff up. Um. Also, I'm spending a lot of time doing this, so yeah. I'll meet you with you guys in the morning, but I'm gonna make me some wool armor right now and uh, head out and go get some stuff to hopefully get some uh, saddles for these guys. So yeah. Alrighty, guys. So I found this 150 here, female. Uh, she's got 28 points into stamina, which I'm pretty sure after I get her tamed up, I do got the Desdemonis' elixirs here, so I know I can definitely get 100% on her. 
uh, yeah, we're going to get over 30%, maybe even up to 40 on that stamina. And I don't know what up, what else on others, but we'll check that out here in a second. But yeah, all I need to do now is find another female with some, uh, health on her. So yeah, I'm going to get this one tamed up real quick. And alrighty, after we got her tamed up, that stamina jumped up to a 42. We also got 40 in her in her hunger. Um, let's. I really do not want that hunger on them. That's a lot. A lot of points in there. But yeah. So what we're gonna do here is take the stamina from this one, the melee from Andy, and the health from whichever what the next ever female is. We're gonna try and combine them and get them into our breeding pair. So yeah. I'm gonna go find another female here that's good. Got some more Andrew Sarkis over here. Let's see what they are. Probably a bunch of low level ones like last time. No? Oh. Okay. Yeah, you're low level. You're low level. I thought I saw a third one of you. Oh, there you are. How about you? Ooh, I would love your colors. Oh. Let's get up a bit here. Uh -huh. Got no good Andes in this area. Ooh. I've been killing on as many of the low level ones as I can here. I just come back to this area here. Just come and swap over. I should... Oh. No, I don't want you. How about you? I might have to save you, though. 135, 26. Are you worth it, though? I don't think you are. Uh, I'm going to keep on looking here. Alrighty, and we got ourselves that female. She's right below me here. There she is. 31 into her health. 21 into her melee, also. This actually might be bad. She might beat the shit out of me. But anyways, let's get into this and get her tamed. Hopefully I can get the Desdemonuses finished up before the end of today. It's already 3 o'clock. I might get the video up at like 8. I don't want to, but I might. And we are back home. Let's go see what we got here. Oop. Nope. Nope. Ah, I tabbed out. Shit. There we go. Okay. Andy, you can hold on to the saddle blueprint. Oh, shit. You might be good. Okay, Andy. Hold on to the saddles and your two future wives and your cryopod so I don't forget about it. Okay, that is going to go... Which one of you guys... You have... You have the Fjord Hawks and you have that stuff there. I don't know where to get good saddles for them. I don't know if they spawn on this map. I'll have to search it up. I didn't see any when I got the when I got these two for the Androsarchus and the Desdemonus. So still got two elixirs left. That's just enough out of the four I made, so if I hurry up here before they expire, I might be able to get two Desdemonus. We're only fourteen minutes into the video right now. But it's our, it took me an hour each on those fucking Andrew Sarkis. So. I'm a little tired now. But yeah. Uh, shoot, fuck. I also forgot. Uh, what are they? They're the... Um, what do you call them? The other flyers. I have to like bowl of them or something. I still have to get those. You know what? We'll get those next episode. And then we'll head home. It'll be like the last thing we're grabbing. Like, we'll have you guys all packed up, ready to go into the terminal and all that stuff. And then I will just take you. 
So, yeah. Alrighty. Oh my, no, 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 no. I opened the wrong thing. There you go. Uh, yeah. Anyways, we got this. So apparently a moss chop is good to give the Desdemotus because it gets its, uh, what is it? Taming effectiveness up more before, uh, you like actually start giving it you in the blood. So basically what I'm going to have to do is feed it the moss chop without blood packs. Then give it the moss or give it me with the blood packs and hit the sang sanguine elixir to finish off the taming efficiency. So yeah. Um, I don't know how well this is going to go. I don't have any arrows. I don't have any long range. But there is a 150 in this cave. There are lots of bats up in this cave. By the way, the ceiling is hopefully not as bad as that small one. But it, this one has probably about as many bats in it as that small one did. So yeah, we're going to take it in here to this right tunnel. I don't know where the left one goes. I think that just leads up to the ground. But we're going to start this off by just landing and then finding the Desdemonus we want. Okay, we got one here. She's got 31 melee. Um, Don't know what else she's good at, but I think we're going to want to grab stamina and melee and help. I think they're going to be good on weight. But yeah. Got this one. I need to get its attention onto the moss chop. And then we'll go from there. Or, well, hopefully I can get it tamed up here. I don't know how much uh, time I got left on the recording. I think I only got space here for a 30 minute recording on the drive. So I'm closing up on, I think, 20, 25. So I don't know. Hopefully I can cut some, I might have to cut some bits out, but yeah. Hopefully I can get this girl tamed up. And about another hour later of waiting and getting tamed up with that one, we got this 150 male that finally spawned in with 32 health and 27 melee, or 27 stamina. So all I would have to do is get the female's melee onto, onto with his stats and we're good. So I don't have to get triplets or a triple it and then stack, you know? Anyways, let's get that rid of that, but yeah. Uh, where's the moss chop? I think the moss chop's over here, so for when we retain them. But yeah, I'm gonna get this guy tamed up, and then we'll head back to base. Alrighty, so we lost the moss chops, but we got our Desdemonus. That's gotta count for something, right? Oh god, yeah. <laughs> we got our guys here. Um, we're gonna take them back to base. Hopefully we can get them bred up here one of these days because i do i do like the desdemonus here how it moves and how i can go night vision mode while i'm flying helps get around but i don't know if it, it's a good all-around bird you know that's why i like the argentavis it's just a good bird <laughs> i miss smith he was a good bird okay i'm now back at base i'm gonna give desdemonus here i'm gonna just Drop all this stuff in his inventory. I was only able to find a masterwork saddle for them, but I figured it was good enough as a hundred plus armor compared to the twenty-five. I'll just let him hang on to these two guys and all that, just kind of like how I have a. Uh... What are you? You holding on to these guys? I don't know why I have the Griffins on you. Then I got back here. You have the. Yeah, these guys are still babies. I didn't finish growing them, but you guys should be good enough. For the ones I got. And then you. Yord Hawks. Are awesome. So, yeah. That's what we got this episode. We got our Desdemonus and we got our Andrew Sarkis. Um. Yeah, I think the only thing that we're going to have trouble with getting is Wyvern's Moke tomorrow. That's going to probably be the most difficult stuff to get our hands on. So. We should be able to do it. I think I got enough metal to make a bola. If not, I can go mine some. And we got four. I got a shit. 
Polis. That was a polo. Polis. What's the turn? Oh, no. I can do it. I could probably do it. Chain. Chain Bola. Oh, yeah, I could so do it. I got enough. I just need to make the metal. Um, I guess I can do that over tonight. I know I'm already tired, but I can go take take a whack at it with this new journeyman pick I got today from killing an alpha. <laughs> I killed that like right before I started recording. It was like in the you know the little pen off to the right side. He spawned in there, but yeah. Anyways, I don't know if this is gonna be it for this episode. I'm pretty sure it might is. Um, I it's already four o'clock. It's been a couple hours doing this today. I started at 11. It took me only an hour to get those Desdemonas, really. That was nice. That Those Andrew Sarkis both took me an hour. Fuckers. An hour each. These guys only took me an hour together. Yeah, because I cleared out the cave the one time, and then I came back in, and then... Boom, there's a good one there was a good male there after I got that good female for the first wave. But yeah. Anyways, we got all the stuff we needed to get this episode. Um I'm gonna go pass out in my bed with uh Sir Hawk. He's been with us this whole time. If you guys wanna see I'll show you guys how uh, oh, shoot. How we get up on our how we go to bed. Me and Sir Hawk live up here. Got a nice uh Little balcony out here. Hopefully one day we can get it furnished when we come back to Finjordor. Because I do plan on coming back and like fighting all the bosses on Finjordor once I'm able to get Mjolnir. That's our end goal, as usual. To wield Mjolnir. But we gotta get through all the other maps first. So yeah. And of course all the goals are get to get all the, you know, lord and shit. Gotta get max level. Want to be the toughest of them all. Yeah. Well, what it seems like is today was the PAX where they announced, uh, is it the Carcanthrosaurus or something? Carcanthrodon or whatever? The big old carnivore that they're adding in. Um, I don't, I didn't really get to see it. I've only seen like images people have been sharing with me from PAX. Um, but I did tune into the stream and I did hear a little bit about the switch in the scorched earth uh, ascendancy so that sounds like it's gonna be awesome but anyways yeah i'm probably gonna have to call it for this episode it has been going for a while now so anyways if you like what you've been seeing please do leave a like and subscribe um hopefully we can get some more content out here in the future i am starting up a new job here so it might have a cut in it every now and again but hopefully we're good and we can get this done but yeah anyways this has been Gunshot Morris signing off peace